three, and I think we're back to normal operating procedures this week. Yeah, none of that Taking exciting breaks, stuff. Yeah, none of that uh, talking about things that don't matter. It's it's back to business as usual. No review this week. Nope. No. Yo. No, mm. Never mind. What? What? No, no, no. no, no, no Are you come on. Say something. No, I was like, I could totally review Ted too. Oh, you watched that? I no saw way. Today. Did you? What? Yeah. For what reason? Um, my mom wanted to go see a movie. And so we were to, gonna go. See, you, you took her to Ted Two instead of Inside Out. We were gonna go see Inside Out, which is what I wanted to see. But and then she got all like cold feet because, uh, like she saw that there's just shitload of kids, and she's like, oh, I don't want to watch a kids movie, like whatever. And then, anyways, it was already sold out. So she wants to see a movie still, so we saw Ted. I heard that movie is sick. What Ted Two? No, Inside Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. yeah. I, heard I heard great things. Yo, Ted Two is not good. Nope. Like, <laughs> like the sickest. Like zero, like zero out of five. Really? It's not. Come fun. on. I I've... had some chuckles. Like the the best it got out of me was like a couple was like ha, but that was it. Like, did you watch the first one? Yeah, I did. Did you like? The first I one? I liked the first one. I remember that being really funny. Okay. Well, okay. Then I guess if you say it's not good, it's not good. Yeah, man. I just never liked it because I don't like Seth MacFarlane. Yeah, this this like really shows in this one. Like oh, he's really? got a bunch of show tunes and stuff. And... Oh, this one's about him, right? No, this one's about like so like Ted, uh, is he legalized. Yeah, he's like. The state finds him not to be a person and finds him to be property, mm. Mm. and he's going around to fight this legal course <clears throat> to prove that he's a human being and that he has emotions and he can feel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like, like that really heavy subject is like counterbound, like counteracted by the fact that all their jokes are about like smoking weed and like yeah. getting other people's semen dropped on them and stuff. Like, yeah, exciting. It's not funny. So did uh did anybody end up with uh, that chick? What chick? Samuel Jackson. Oh, uh, Amanda Seyfried. Yeah, Mark Wahlberg's character did. Okay, good for him. Yeah, I thought he would. That's Amanda Seyfried. Yeah, yeah. Damn. She's a hottie for the hottie, right? Sure. She's a mean girl. Oh, really? She was. She yeah. was the ditzy one. Yeah. She was a good ditzy girl. <laughs> so do you, Vince? So do you? <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, but yeah. So there's your review of Ted too not good don't don't watch it five out of five thank you thank you thank you for that insightful review yeah i just want to fill you guys in Mm. Uh, a bit of housekeeping last week we talked about our trips and stuff yeah Mm -hmm. and um i was listening back to it and i totally forgot to put it up on the internet so i just put it up like a day or two ago okay wait like on the itunes feed yes okay (laughs) i don't even think it's on the youtube one yet. no it is not so i'll make sure to do that eventually okay anyways uh i was listening back to it i'm like Wow, Anthony sounds really excited about Japan. And then when I got to me, I was like, huh, I'm just shitting on Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So so I, so I just got to clarify. Um, Anthony's fine to travel with. He's, he's totally fun to travel with. I was just giving him a hard time because I always do that to Anthony. Yeah, no, we do that to each other. Yeah. That's what friendship's for. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no. They love each other. Yeah. Uh, but he made the trip a lot more enjoyable. He contributed so what whoa, 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 whoa. okay hold on, hold on i don't what? like is this internet persona <laughs> yeah or is I, this I don't like, like this is genuine this is genuine this is like, almost as this is almost as big do as i have me like doing the broken should thing. i give you like 10 bucks after the show it's a bit more than that <laughs> okay. oh my like God. i charge a premium but... uh-huh. well this is one of the big milestones vince are we going to milestones ap- later? apologizing to anthony it seemed that he appreciates him as a friend yeah, that's fucked up. Ooh, good what? stuff. But I appreciate it. Yeah, good. I'm glad you do. Um, but still, I would never travel with him again. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going on that trip. <clears throat> what trip? Yeah, we're going to that next trip where we're both going. Oh, to yeah. the UK? Yeah, totes. Right. You're not. Yeah, I'm totally coming with you. <laughs> like, yo, what's up? A... No. Your mom told me all the deets. No thanks. Oh, did she? <laughs> yeah. What did Come... she say this time? Yeah, she was like, you can totes go. Like, I can't wait. To... My mom said, yeah. you can totes yeah, go? Yeah, yo, it'll, it'll be hella fun, dog. That's what she told me. That's like, what my mom said. Yeah, I might be paraphrasing a bit, but... <laughs> all right. All right. You would have, you could have totally gotten away with that if you told me she texted you that, <laughs> because that's how she texts. People. Does she really? Yeah, like she's still on early two thousand slang, uh, like replacing words with consonants. So you see, oh uh, mm. man, early two thousand slang is like when you really had to good. shorten T nine. That's what she's still on. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. That's what my mom's still on too. So yeah, and so whenever she texts me stuff, I'm like, what are you? What is, what is this? this? What is this? 
Is this some sort of code? And there's just two lines of emojis afterwards, like... No, she hasn't figured that oh, out. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, she hasn't figured that Once out. Once she does, though... Yeah, no, I need a cipher every time she... <laughs> Text you? A mom yeah. cipher. <laughs> yeah. That's the same way with my mom, but she uses the gauntlet slang too, so you can understand. That's how. even worse. Yeah, I just get, I get crushed. <laughs> yeah. You're like, I forgot about all this. It reminds slang. me of that movie. You remember that Ali G movie or whatever? Yeah. Which one? Or though, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then he said like a Texas buddy. He's like, I can't actually figure out your text, bro. <laughs> he's like, Yo, look, it says get here together tonight and get the chain going. It's like that's <laughs> not even what. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty funny. Sweet. Well, it's time for Blavin's favorite segment of the show. Ooh. Tell me. What are we doing now? Letters. Oh, wow. This is a... Oh, crap. Letters? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. No. No. What? Your favorite segment's Picks and Weeks. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, right. You were so hyped on it last week. I can do without it. I always get excited with letters. I mean, I can I can read to you some of the comments we receive on YouTube. Oh, we get oh, sick comments, oh, Come man. on. Sick Whoa, One day, one time, baby. Come on, let's do it. Anthony, read, read a comment. All right, no. I, gotta, no, I, I wish we had like a, it, like... I wish we had a comment day. It's funny because, <laughs> Yo, like, I... <laughs> these comments aren't, like, even directed at the podcast. No. They're just directed at Vince. <laughs> Actually? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just complaining. <laughs> My favorite one is Vince is like, yo, bro, I love that you're doing all this stuff, but just go back to Gundam reviews. <laughs> that one was so funny. It's just like, thanks? Like, yeah. is that, how am I supposed to... Like, is that a, is it, that's some sort of backhanded compliment. Yeah, I was like, what is going on? Oh, that was a positive comment. No, I can't read that. Oh. Did, you, did you load up some comments to read on the air? Uh, first comment, and where's the Gunpla? Says Justin Chan. Please do another Gunpla review. It's just like nothing about the podcast. It's amazing. Are you going to do the high, high grade Gundam at the end? <laughs> Please review the Nile Gundam and compare it with, with Try Burning. <laughs> I'm sure you've been asked this already, but why hasn't there been any Gundam reviews lately? <laughs> Will you do a real grade double O riser? Please do real grade double O riser. <laughs> Those are all the comments on one video. They don't actually care. They just get their harassment. That's so funny. Oh my god. So so like I'll um I still have it set up so that I get emails every time someone comments on one of my videos. Yeah. Like every every morning I wake up to like twenty emails of comments and they're all they're like ninety percent that. Why aren't you doing gu- the Gundam I like? What the frig? Yeah, that's that's the gist of most of them. But keep them, keep them coming. It's entertaining. Yo, yo, I, actually, I found the text that they did in the in the in that movie. What movie? So it's L N K space C R space B A two R E Z space two G four. What? Yeah, the friend was like, "What does this mean?" And it's link car batteries together. But he spelled batteries with B A two R E Z, B A two R E Z, and he spent together with two G four, two G four. And so you just see it on like an old Nokia and the guy's trying to figure out what it is. <laughs> and that, I feel like that's what it's like with moms. It's like, mom, you have, it's like you have no like text limit. So what I don't get is, um, I like in the past year, I recently got my mom to go on an iPhone, right? Yeah. And when you text like that, the whole thing autocorrects you is anyway. It, yeah. So, so the, what I want to know is, is she fighting the autocorrect? I think she's fighting the autocorrect. <laughs> or maybe she's like she figured out how to change the autocorrect so it autocorrects to what she wants. Yeah, and at first I thought it was oh you probably need like a text limit right like um like you only have 140 characters for mm-hmm. one text. Yeah, but we're on iMessage with each other. So yeah, so it doesn't so it doesn't matter. And I already told her and she knows. But old habits die hard, I guess. She's trying to keep hip with the kids. What do you want? No, she's not. At least she's trying. You know. I feel sorry for her coworkers. <laughs> Is she texting like <laughs> professional documents like? Yo, yeah, son, no, that's what she here's, does. Here's the sick, like, Q1 report. <laughs> she does. That's really funny. Like, oh, God. I put that shit in Comic Sans so it's easier to read. Like, <laughs> the color-coded, yeah. all the vowels. <laughs> well, speaking of YouTube, I did watch a trailer this week. Did you? Tell me about it. Tell me, tell me, tell me, Actually, tell me. Thing. I, I watched hear. an opening to a game that oh. was sub- subsequently taken down and then put back up by somebody else. <laughs> and now it's like 385k views. It was for Persona Dancing All Night. And I think, did you see this? Uh, yep. Did you see this, Anthony? I saw the, I saw like the short version, like the teaser version. Oh, really? Yeah. So the opening is just all the characters just dancing. And yeah. Like, man, 
like what is it? You was like pop it and lock it. Yeah, you just pop and lock. And then now it's those like the tutting with the hands and yeah. stuff and Yosuke's doing like waves and stuff and oh man it's so sick but Kanji straight break flares. The flares straight flares flares in the windmills and the flares which <laughs> yeah. is super hard so I was like wow this is but then you wonder man somebody could just animate them to do whatever they want yeah of course yeah that's amazing good for their lives <laughs> that's why all the Hatsune Miku characters are such sick dancers yeah but it's so crazy because like the whole crew stepped their game up can you imagine one day they're just like okay the TNIB crew they can all dance now. yeah they can just all dance like here you go they can all sing now that's too. the future that's the robotic future I'm looking forward to like I, I want people I want to buy a program off the <clears> internet <throat> and then upload it to my brain and then I know how to dance so um the one girl in that trailer who was doing like the miming stuff yeah like, pretending like she's getting on a wall yeah uh, is that is that a... she's the one in like the poofy skirt yeah yeah I think she's she's the the character specifically for this game oh damn it I thought it was what's her face who? Uh, the little sister. Oh no, that. So it's the little sister is dressed up as, like, so there's two characters. Yeah, I know one of them had like orangey hair. Yeah, not yeah, her, yeah, the other one. Oh yeah, that's the sister. That's, really? That's the little. Huh? What's her name? Oh, what's her Nanako. Name? Nanako. Yeah, every day yeah. is great. You're Yeah, but every day is great. You're I hate her. Yo, God, I want to kill her. But brother, let are we gonna hang out next summer? Nope. Dad brought home a watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> God, I want... It's the worst part of Persona 4. But you know what, man? Like, you know what I really love about Persona? It's those... That one comic. The Hymns Day Yeah, comic? the Hymns Daisy yeah. comics. Those are the best. Yeah, those are really good. I think the one that got me the most was like... Did you see the dubbed over version of it on YouTube? No. What is it Someone dubbed? took the comments and they got like... Some people are like actual professional voice actors. Really? And they're voice acting over the, the comic. No, no, that's what I've seen. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but my favorite one was the one where he goes, I've seen your penis. <laughs> it's like, ah! And then, and then I was like, ah. <laughs> Persona, persona, yeah, persona, yeah. persona. Yeah, it's really good. It's really funny. Wow, these are like and, really and obscure references. And I didn't realize that, that the joke... <laughs> it's a reference of an obscure game, of an obscure comic of yeah, that obscure game. Yeah, but the joke in one of those comics made it into the real game. The Fistake thing. Oh, for steak? Yeah. <laughs> Did it really? Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. For steak? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so. Persona of Dancing Online. I don't want the game, but I like their dancing. I want the game. I'm gonna, um, obtain the soundtrack. That's a good idea. <laughs> You're gonna you know get what? a sweet that... reorder and then return the game immediately? Uh, what? <laughs> if that's the easiest method? Yeah, it's totally the easiest. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's keep on the Persona track. So, Atlas, earlier this week, um... Well, it was leaked first. Really? They leaked, out, like, the Persona 5 trailer got leaked on these, like, shady, not YouTube video sites. Right, that's what I was going to bring up. Yeah. I kind of blanked for a second, like, what am I? What I thought you were waiting for me, so I no. just picked up. Like, I was like, I was thinking, why did I want to tangent from this? But Yeah, so, like, per, the new Persona 5 trailer yeah. came out, and it's actually a new trailer this time. Yep. So did you watch it? No? I did. I actually watched it the minute Atlas put it up. Oh, okay. Because Atlas's official channel put it up. Oh, okay. And then it went down in, like, ten minutes. All right. But, uh, what? So yeah. I can't see it anymore? Someone no, else has it. I think, yeah, someone, someone else, else has it. Up. It's on Kotaku as well. Yeah, it's on all the major gaming sites. Uh, it's another Persona trailer. There's not really much to say. Uh, the Velvet Room is now a Velvet Jail. Like, yeah. You're straight in jail. Yeah. And, uh, like, the Elizabeth, I guess, uh, equivalent are twins. Yep. Yeah. But, uh, no, the game looks hot. I didn't realize they're still on track for 2015 release. Yeah, which is nice. Which is crazy. When everything's getting delayed. Yeah. Like 2016. It's nice to see that that's coming out hopefully this year. I don't really want to see anything else on this game though. There's, you want to just like keep it secret? Yeah, like, at this point, like I, I don't want to keep up with the news yeah. anymore. I, I just like, want to go in. I like seeing that the dungeons are different. Like it's that stealth based kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, they showed the they showed like how enemies transform and stuff. So like it'll be like real world people are affected by whatever's going on and they change into uh, the enemies and stuff. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of can't wait. Yeah, it looked hot. Pretty sick. Speaking of other trailers, um, <clears throat> actually, you guys probably haven't seen it, but I'm asking, TJ, have you seen this trailer? NBC's Heroes Reborn? Oh, I was gonna look at this up. Whoa, what? Yeah. <laughs> the first returning character is Hiro Nakamura. Yeah, he's at the end of the trailer, and he's future hero. Like, with the sword. <sighs> Same actor? Yeah. Uh, Horned Rim Glasses returns. Are they doing a new series? Or is this like a... It's a one-off series, yeah. Oh, okay. It's one season. I think it's only supposed to be like 13 episodes. Really? Oh, sweet. Uh, I think the star lead is, um, what's his face? Chuck. 
Zachary Levi. Yeah. He's them. But if it's a whole new cast except for Hiro Nakamura and uh one of his asses. Yeah. Oh, I want to pass Hiro. My name is Hiro Nakamura. I'm here to save your life. Save the cheerleader. Save the world. <laughs> oh, I'm so I'm so excited. <laughs> I've literally never watched this show. You should like, watch not the first even season. one episode of it. I didn't watch finish it. it. Oh, okay. I did. I heard it got bad. Oh, really bad. Yeah. Oh, okay. really bad. <laughs> Badly like, amazing. Why is there like such like a fervor for the show then? Uh, the first season was so promising. We all used to watch it like it was every Thursday night. Like, was the first season just that good? It was that good. Okay. Um, but the thing with the original hero series was um, the project was always supposed to be every season was gonna be a new set of characters. Yeah. Like it was never supposed to continue with the same characters for four seasons. And you could tell the minute they got to season two and they kept the entire cast on. It was like, there's no point in following these people. But uh, this miniseries is supposed to follow that original project or that original concept. So it seems exciting. <clears throat> I'm into it. Yeah. When does it start? September. Like with the rest of the shows. I think all the networks just announced uh, the dates all the shows are airing this fall. Oh, man. But yeah, no, it looks... Looks good. Can't wait to watch it. Is that it? I think so. Uh, my pick. <laughs> uh, my pick is about a game. It's called Rust. Uh, it's I don't know if you guys have heard about it. It's a PC game. It's in the same vein as like uh, Daisy. If you've ever heard of that, it's like a survival game. You start off uh, with nothing, <clears throat> literally nothing, and you have to work your way up. And uh, you're in a server with other player characters. Yep. And like they can form. Uh, they can form, like, just groups and work together, or they can kill you, and you can do stuff, like, trap other players and, like, do all this all this crazy stuff. Uh, so, Rust is, like, known for being kind of uh, graphic, and also the creator likes to just put out patches that tr straight up change the game without telling anybody. So, like, his reasoning is that, like, he doesn't like talking about things before they're finished because he gets demotivated after he's talked about it, mm -hmm. and it's not done, and he feels like it's already... Like, in his mind, after you talk about it, it's already complete, and you don't want to work on it anymore. Mm -hmm. So he rolled out a new patch uh, where it cha it randomly assigns your character a penis size. So so char so players in the game are losing their shit and comparing their in-game character's penis size to other in-game characters' penis sizes. <laughs> and so the beautiful thing about this is is that the penis size, like the way it's calculated, is tied to your Steam ID. So even if you create a new character, you have the same penis size. So if you have a micro penis, like just like out of nowhere, like you have a tiny <laughs> penis for every character you ever make in Rust. Yeah. And it's just like, and there's like people like running around, like videos of people running around in servers with no pants. And they're like, yo, let me see your dick. And they're just like, like <laughs> and they're trying to compare their dicks with each other. It's super funny. Uh, cause, uh, and like, yeah, the guy's known for doing this where he, uh, the patch before this, he brought out a patch where it randomly assigns you a race. So like, it's not just a bunch of white dudes rolling around. Like it's nice. like really cultured and stuff. And like people got, uh, like outraged cause their characters don't look like them or they don't represent them. Uh, cause they're not that race, mm -hmm. but he's like, whatever, <laughs> like deal with it. <laughs> like, yeah. I really like his approach to game design. It's just like, <laughs> I made this game the way I want to, and you can either play it or not. I don't really care. <laughs> Yeah, so I was doing. I did. A, I was reading more on this story uh, when it originally broke, and uh, he actually didn't even intend for the penis size thing to come to light. It was that when he put out the patch after the race, he wanted to do uh, a random generator on your body type. And, oh yeah, like fat skinny, fat skinny. It was mostly linked to your bone size, and he's uh, like, "Well, I didn't realize there's a bone in your dick." Yeah. So that when that randomizes it, that got chosen. Yeah. <laughs> Oh it's, oh, it's so good. Yeah, and he said, uh, he's like, well, I can't wait till... Like, after this, he said, uh, now I can't wait to see the the reaction when I release the female body types. Because that's the, that's the next... That'll one. be the next randomization, right? Yeah. Like, you could just be straight up female. And yeah. then, like, you could have, like, random, randomized breast size and stuff. And... Yeah. You could be, like, an overweight little girl. Or, yeah. Or, like, whatever. Yeah, it's cool. This game's, this game's really cool. Like, it, the style of game is not for me, like... Uh, oh yeah i've never played it yeah like but i really like what they're doing with this and it yeah. makes it really interesting to see like the stuff that comes out of it yeah and, like on one hand i can understand the outrage if like you really specifically designed your character to look like yourself yeah but on the other hand whatever yeah like who cares man like uh -huh. yeah uh Blake, do you have anything you want to highlight real quick 
Is this game in the same vein as this one game that I keep seeing where people are like in prehistoric era and they have to like create everything? Is this that dinosaur game on Twitch? Yeah! No, it's I don't. Super popular. I just see I just see this like picture of a lady riding and a T Rex. A raptor, yeah. yeah. Or like a raptor. And then I'm yeah. like, what is th-? And, and then, I never click on it. I no, never I click on it. I watched it for like hours. <laughs> Whoa. And these people just like go around and baiting animals and then putting them to sleep and then using their feces to make like. Things. I guess it's in, yeah. It's in, I guess it might be in the same vein and as that. And it's so then, yeah. badly animated. Just people love that shit. Yeah. So like there was a originally there was a mod for a game called Arma Two, which was yeah. like an army simulator. Okay. And it was called DayZ, and uh, that eventually spun off into its own game. But the thing was, the guy made it so you join a server and you're in that server, and everything's like hardcore. If you die, you lose all your shit. Yeah. You can like make uh, you can make make alliances with other people, yeah. but there's nothing like there's no in game thing saying you're an alliance. Yeah. You just gotta trust this person. Yeah. And stuff like that. But the uh, the really effed up thing about Daisy was like when you log out. You when you log back in, you're in the same place you are. So there are videos of people just like, "Yo, man, get into the helicopter. We're gonna go on a raid." And they kick people out of their helicopter on a deserted island that's way too far for them to swim back to the mainland. <laughs> so when you log out and you log back in, you're still on that island and you can't play the game anymore. <laughs> it's rough. Yeah, uh, you gotta kill yourself. Yeah, and you gotta kill. So you gotta kill yourself on the island. You lose everything. <laughs> yeah. Start from scratch. So nuts. Yeah. yeah. These people just sit there and just like. They're just riding raptors and riding giant brontosaurus. Yeah, I guess I gotta, I gotta check out this it's thing. It's so then, yeah. crazy because it's so poorly animated. It's really, it's always up in the featured games list. Like there's right? always a bunch of people and like playing they it. always just like when they have to go to grab things, they just like a hand comes out. Yeah, it's like, it's like really like, crude. Yeah, like, it just like, like grabs rah. things and it's just, like obtained stone type yeah. one. It's yeah, like, yeah, what the actual? F? Yeah, so it's like the same type of game as that, like this really hardcore sur- PC survival type <clears> thing. Oh my god! But yeah, that's it for my pick. Yeah. I read a headline here that says um, Bill Nye explains climate change with emojis. <laughs> okay. I haven't read it, but I saw the headline there and I thought that's something I should probably check out after Yeah, that this. sounds like something we should like <laughs> get out into the world. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I love emojis. Do you? They've, 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 what, they've enriched what, my life. What's your favorite emoji? If we see the winky face, it's the flirtiest thing. It's not the poop? Not yeah, the, poop like emoji. the poop emoji. Poop emojis. I don't think I have emojis on my phone, do I? <laughs> I will say once Apple implemented emojis onto the to the actual keyboard, I've I've embraced them. Yeah, it's enriched <laughs> my life. He sends me wiki faces all the time. I do. Whoa, whoa, can't whoa, wait to see whoa. the podcast that I believe in. We know. We know who we really appreciate. Colin P. <laughs> Colin P. <laughs> <laughs> I think my favorite always has to be less than three. And then it turns it into a heart in my phone, yeah. which kind of sucks because I always like them. You just want the text. Yeah, less than I want the three. text. Do it backwards. Because then you go less than less than slash three, which means a heartbreak. Yeah, do an E. Put a space. Oh, yeah, you do a space. What about the period? Maybe you can make a penis. It's like three, and then equal, 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 equal oh. D. Yeah, you can. <laughs> oh. That happens in Twitch chat a lot. That, does, that happens in Twitch chat a lot. A three? Isn't it an eight? Ooh, it works oh, too! Eight, eight works probably. No, well, they're not like, they're not floating. Your balls aren't floating below you, like. It's a dick made out of characters. I don't think it matters. <laughs> Listen, we must hold up the integrity of these ASCII dicks, all right? <laughs> oh, my God. It's so funny. Uh, let's talk about our weeks, shall we? Yeah. Do it. Uh, did you guys want to volunteer? Yeah. As so tribute? I bought a new game. Oh, did you? No, I said, What's I, it called? I, said, I played the game I played. I bought, sorry, I bought it last week. I played the game. You played, played the game wow. you bought? No <laughs> way. Oh, <man>. No <laughs> shit. I played Deuce X. ASX? Yeah, you gotta know, know how to pronounce it first. Deuce. <laughs> deuce. Take a deuce, bro. <laughs> you. So yeah, I play this game, so the basis is, you're this dude named Adam Jensen, and he gets Adam uh, Jensen? Is it Adam? Yeah, Adam Jensen. Yeah, what did I say? I thought you said Adam Jensen. I'm like, what are you doing? It's his accent, Oh, the accent's dude. killing me, man. You're too foreign. I can't handle this. Really <laughs> so he talks like the way we were just talking, like, like this. Throughout the whole thing. Good thing there's subtitles. And uh, so basically... This guy, like, there's, like, the cybernetic plant he works for, I guess, where people yeah. get cybernetic stuff in them, and they get attacked by, huh, how ironic, other people who are cybernetic. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. And then he gets beat up by a dude with cybernetic stuff. Yeah. Then it and turns it... into the opening of Mass Effect 2. What? Really? <laughs> like, where? Oh, right. He just gets rebuilt. He gets rebuilt from the ground up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, Better. Mass Effect's different. Yeah, he, like, yeah, yeah Shepard's just straight dead. Mass Effect, you get rebuilt from your single cell that remains. Yeah, oh, true. Oh, that's sick. Like, they do some stem cell shit and rebuild your body. <laughs> that's nuts. Jensen wasn't so lucky. <laughs> no. he, he just, 
he had fully functional arms <clears throat> from the last one I saw, but they just chopped them off and off to put in like actual, like, <laughs> like crazy, like robotic arms. Um, what's kind of weird is that like, if the company's so rich, why didn't they just give him all his up? Oh, that. Uh, yeah, because, like, <laughs> they set him up. It's like he's an unfinished product. It's like, <laughs> hey, listen, you're going to need to level yourself up. It's like, are you sure you could have just built it into me? Yeah, like, <laughs> from the outset. Yeah, never but then uh, you question playing a video game. So. Yeah, man. Video game logic. Like, why doesn't Samus have all her gear? At every game, yeah. Like, why isn't she just shooting beams at, like, the Earth? Because they're all prepared, that's why. Yeah. Anyway, I only got to the first part of the story. Um... I assume some chick got kidnapped, but he doesn't even talk about kidnapping her. Kidnap? Yeah, so... Or, sorry, not kidnapping her. I mean, saving her. Mm. But yeah, I really like it because what I like is that it explains why you have a HUD. Because yes. you are robotic, so... And your sweet sunglasses. Yeah, your, your sunglasses your show you your life. Yeah. Tell, you know, what you're, you know, what's around you and stuff. And I can't wait to go through all, like, the skill trees and stuff. I'm glad it's done by Square Enix. Or it's published by Square Enix, right? Yeah, it's not built by Square Enix. Yeah, it's not... They Square Enix just gave them the money. But isn't it, like... But, like, the very rpg this is that, like, an Eos thing? No, that's just the Deus Ex thing. Um, like wait, the what? Origi- yeah. What are you guys talking about? I thought... Because, like, Square Enix didn't have any hand in making this game, no, right? No, no, it was no, all no, no. Well, I thought that the RPG elements were because of Square Enix. No. Not no, 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 that's just Deus Ex. Not did. But yeah, I can't wait to play it. I haven't even gotten into actual combat. Actually, that's a lie. <laughs> I chose not to shoot anyone, but I feel like I could have just shot some people. I, yeah, I chose not to do combat because I thought the combat sucked. Yeah, they shoot. They're really accurate. These bad guys, <laughs> and I it's not so much. Not so much. Have you have you decided have you decided on how you want to build your character? Yet, Absolutely, or? run and gun. Just run and gun straight. I don't have think fun. So. Yeah, I'm probably. I think it. I put all my point early points into jumping. That helps so much. So I could jump super high. Is also, it- get re- get really used to like stacking items on top of each other. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, like. <laughs> There are, so there'll yeah. be like huge gates and you'll need to like either hack or code to open these doors or or, or you can take a dumpster put it beside yeah so get this take super, a smaller box put it put on, on top, top and then if you have a super jump yeah you can just jump over the gate and just totally like say fuck that gate uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's funny oh wait yeah so i can't wait to play it, it it's, a, it's a legit way to play the game did you play director's code or regular regular i played when it came out you beat yeah. it mm-hmm it's been a while, and though. you could beat it. Yeah, I heard it was hard to beat it. It was hard. I didn't. I didn't. It wasn't like this fun experience. Okay, but I, remember, I just wanted it to be over. Yeah, I remember you guys not talking that it was not that good. But now that there's director's cut, maybe it's different. No, the whole game is great. It's just the bosses suck. Yeah, the the bosses were trash in the original. I'm sure. I hope they're better now. They I'm are. Like, so like how like I said, I don't know. We talked about it before the podcast, but the boss encounters now are built with uh, different character specs in mind. So you don't just have to beat them by you damaging them specifically. Like there would be areas for you to hack different things. True, true. Uh, like there's one boss that you can kill by like doing a series of puzzles and then getting up to a top room and then uh, activating turrets to fight for you and then you shoot the boss for you. And... Interesting. Like there's a lot of cool stuff in the director's cut that I didn't have in the original and then I just stopped playing because it was too tedious. Yes. Cool. Interesting. Huh. All right. Well. That's what I did. And I also watched the Kingdom Hearts trailer, which was really cool. Oh, the E3 one. Yeah, I just the, sat there with a cup of tea. All good. the rides. Yeah, <clears throat> all the rides. Did, tea looks insane. Did you and your, your nobody have a good time? We did. <laughs> ben Alp. <laughs> oh, what's a Kingdom Hearts Oh, yeah, Hearts it's backwards. Yeah. <laughs> They're all backwards, I forgot. Oh, okay. Or anagrams. Yikes. Yes. Cool. Good. I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed that. Uh, I'll keep it on the games front. Do it, dog. So I've been playing more Witcher three. Okay. Yo, that game is great. Yo, are you are you Gwent Master? No, I get rocked all the time. <laughs> Man, <laughs> come on! What the fudge? I don't have good cards. Yo, I'll <clears throat> chill. Let me take over. But I'll tell you. I'll so this up. game, like, uh, the quests in this game are so awesome. I just did this one to help a friend get a debt, and he's like, "I need some money," and I'm like, "I could give you the money." He's like, "No, no, no, no I." You can't give me the money. Trust me, it's too much. And I'm like, well, what do you want to do? But it's like, let's we gotta we gotta steal something. Like, <laughs> what are we stealing? High high mythic rare Gwent cards. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. You're just stealing black yes, lotuses. Yes yes, like, yes, 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 yes. And he's like, don't worry. I already got a fence. We got the deal set up. I got all the money I need. You just need to get these cards for me, bro. 
<laughs> I'm like, all right, what do I gotta do? So I gotta like kill people. I gotta. You gotta be kidding me! You kill people for trading cards. I kill people for <laughs> trading cards. I, I, I went to this old man's house and I, I got him drunk. And when he fell asleep, I went into his collection and I stole the rare card. You monster! <laughs> I played a bandit because he was holding one. And then even when I won, he said no and tried to kill me, so I killed him. <laughs> Yo, Gwen's serious business. And then when I went Jeez. to the, then I went, and then I had to wait till midnight. And then when I got there, and the guy who was waiting for me, turns out he was dead. Some guy stole the money from him. Oh! So I had to chase him down, and I <laughs> killed him. And I took his money, and then my buddy was like, or my the guy I was helping, he's like, well, I we have the money and the cards. Uh, what do you want? Do you want the money or do you want the cards? And I'm like. I want the cards. <laughs> I want the cards. Of course you want the cards. I don't need 10K. I want the cards. And then they're like these awesome cards. But let me tell you, having three awesome cards does not make your deck of 22 any better. Yeah, it does not a great deck make, right? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, so there's quests like that. Like, It's pretty awesome. I really want to play The Witcher. I still recommend that as the game you buy. Yeah. If you want value. Oh, uh, wait for a price trap or something. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's good. It's a bit buggy in spots, but it's it's good. But you know, I've been having lots of fun with The Witcher. I probably put like sixty hours in. Damn. When they say that that game's a hundred hours, they mean it. Okay. Um, because you can't just like rush through the story. Does the story get to a point where it's like, oh, you need to be ten levels higher than where the last story mission was? But, like they'll let you do it, but you'll get rock. Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> and you don't get experience by killing monsters yeah so you have to do more like the biggest way to get experience is quests so you just do you keep so doing quests you keep doing quests okay. and quests take time that's how and i really like that game design because it makes you not be able to rush it and you get to just enjoy it it also sounds like it forces you to check out all this cool <clears throat> stuff they made it instead does of just like yo i'm gonna go to this place where all the boars respawn yeah no it does it does do that and uh, a lot of cool monster hunts and uh Speaking of Monster Hunts, I actually sat down and watched one of the trailers for The Witcher 3. <clears throat> An older one, I think it was. Yeah. And it was just the Witcher, like, going up to this chick in the lake. Mm -hmm. And then she turns into, like, this monster. And I didn't get any of, like, <laughs> what he was doing before he went into the barn to chase after her. He, yeah. like, drank some poison or something. Yeah. And his eyes became, like, venom. Or, yeah. like, uh, snakes. Yeah. And then the thing bit her and bit him. Yeah. And then it, like, is like, oh. It's like his blood was poisoned, right? Yeah. Because he's like a snake now, right? Uh -huh. I was like, this game is, looks sick. Yeah, you have to like prepare for hunts and stuff. It's really cool, that game. Yeah, so like, you can build your characters in a different way, but <clears throat> my character, I have ignored alchemy, so I don't really partake in the potion stuff. Really? I've done all, like, my, my build is mostly magic with some combat, so I like walking around setting people on fire. <laughs> <laughs> you just look at them and like give them a wink and they just spontaneously combust. Yeah, I have this other ability where like when I run up to bandits, like a group of bandits... I have the mind control, so I take their leader, and I just turn them on their party. Oh, nice. And like when I mind control, he gets I think eighty percent extra attack. Okay. And he just runs through <laughs> his, his bros. His bros. <laughs> uh, yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's it makes you want a next gen console. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good yeah. stuff. The other game though, I played, and you guys watched me play with this. I played the new Batman game, Arkham Knight. That game, Batman. Yeah, that game looks Again. like Batman, dude. Yo, if you thought that you were sick of Batman, trust me, you're not sick of Batman. You need more Batman. You need a life. Bat tank. You actually liked all the games? I love the Batman games. Really? I, I still like the first one the best. But they're all the same. Yeah, but I love them. I okay. think I only played the ones by Rocksteady. Yes. Yeah. Same. I'm same. surprised you just don't have your detective mode on at all times. Because I like looking at the water drip from Bruce's face. But you face. remember though, right? That's what he The first one? Like. That was the <laughs> first one. Was Yo, keep detective mode no, on No, it was forever. for all of them. It's, it's for all of them. Way uh, better. You see everything. What is there not yeah. to do? <laughs> yeah. You can't appreciate the real world, man. What it? So, <laughs> this looks better than blue and orange. What do you call it? So, I'm only like a couple hours in, but this game makes you feel awesome 100% of the time. Like, right out the get-go? Yeah, right when you start. Um, so, so, it's all of Gotham, and they do the one thing I've always hated in these games, where they give you some arbitrary reason to get to evacuate the city. So, it's just thugs. Scarecrow grass. Huh? Scarecrow grass. Yeah. yeah. That's what they do. Which I think they did in Batman Begins. First one. Uh, they did. I think they've done a, at least one Scarecrow segment in every one of them. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so that's why the the city's empty. But. Uh. So yeah, you start out and you feel like this awesome dude, and, you know, when you play like a Metroid game, and we just talked about this, when you start up as Sam's, but she doesn't have any of her abilities anymore. Yeah. yeah. So you start up Batman, you have basically have everything you remember. Oh wow. From Arkham City, like you're missing a couple gadgets, but. All your skills are still remaining there. Like, you have the double grapnel boost so you can boost up to ledges and whatever. That's, okay. And then they do, like, a short tutorial to help you remember how to do all that stuff. Like, all your combat's the same. You have most of the upgrades. What? 
And then they get to this one part where they're like, okay, that's the warm up. Now let's really get started. And they fly in with the with the Batwing. They have another suit. And they're like, put this one on. <laughs> and it's his Iron Man suit. And he's like, all right, now we start from scratch again. And uh, that's where I'm at right oh, now. Oh, okay. So it's like an abilities. Yeah. All right. So it's like, now you know your abilities. We're going to show you how we've upgraded them in this game. Oh, okay. So you get your new suit. That's and you cool. have that. Uh, so far, I've done a lot of Batmobile stuff. That's what I've done. Mm. Uh, and I've read that like a lot of people don't like the Batmobile, but uh, I think I know for sure TJ and Blaven will love the Batmobile because okay. it's a, it's literally the Transformers controls. Oh, you know where like you're strafing oh. all the time and you just hit R two to go. That's what the Batmobile is. Sweet. That's when you saw me strafe around like a tank. It's it's just the Transformers games, the War and Fall for Cybertron. That's what it is. Only it has this wicked That's winch that you huh. can like build ramps out of roads and. Tear down walls. <laughs> you guys didn't see this, but uh, before anything came over, I I shot the winch at the top of some building, yeah, and then I just drove up to it and. But this is like game stuff, though. Right? Yeah, this is like story stuff. I mean, this mm-hmm. isn't actually do this all the time in the game. You can do whatever you want. That's weird. Do whatever you want. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, you can still glide through the city and stuff. Is your tank impervious? No. Okay. No. Is it self repair? Yes. Okay. If your tank explodes, do you die? Yes. Or do you just eject? You die. Okay. Do you eject and then they do enough damage to it to like blow it up? Is it gone for a good? Uh, I don't know. I think you just restart. I had to do one like the first riddle tra- riddler challenge because there's those. There's 250 of them in this one. Ooh. Mm. The first one is he makes you do a race in your Batmobile. A race in the sewers. Okay. And you get to do that thing in Mission in uh, Men in Black where you oh. ride around the top <laughs> with your Batmobile. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's gonna be great. It's pretty great. <laughs> you fight ninjas and stuff. Oh yeah, the the Metal Gear Solid ninjas are in there. Uh yeah, so they they, they where I'm at, they've just introduced Arkham Knight, and I'm, and I am ninety nine percent sure I know who it is. Nightwing. No. It's like it's I don't know if that's the point of this game. I think the marketing team missed the the mark. But uh, yeah, I won't spoil it because I I I don't think you know who it is, right, Anthony? Probably not. No, I know you'll know who it is. Oracle. Thomas Elliot? No, sweet. Zub Zero. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's 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 pretty simple. Like, there's only two possibilities of who it could be. No, no, not ringing a bell. Two Face. Good job, good job. It's Two Face. Yeah, definitely. That's who it is. I think it's past, but there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. <clears throat> but yeah, no. So Arkham Knight and The Witcher Three, pretty great games. I still say pick what The Witcher Three seeks like went. But uh, yeah, and the last thing it is, uh, I watched a lot of anime. How much anime? Wait, where did you watch it? Uh, more than one place. Aww, but you watched the most of it on Crunchyroll.com. Crunchyroll.com. Okay, enough. It's not gonna happen again. <laughs> we just, we're just, you know, appeasing to our sponsor. Yeah, man. Oh, God. We keep the lights on. The least we could do. Is let the people know yeah. about this great deal for only seven ninety nine a month. It's six ninety five. What? Even <laughs> cheaper than I thought it was. That's crazy. I know, right? I know. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, because we came back from Japan, I'm like, I gotta catch up on all oh, the anime. All the anime. So I, I watched all the anime, and they're all whatever. So how'd you like the ending to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? I didn't watch that one. Oh, man, come on. <laughs> Listen, I'm glad you enjoy it, and that's good. It makes me happy that you're happy to enjoy it. It, ma- it makes me unhappy that there was no. Part 4 teaser at the final episode of Part 3. Oh, you actually finished it? Yeah. <laughs> That's sad. Yeah, so, uh... There's only one I'm gonna talk about. Sound euphonium. No, no. Hell yeah. Have you guys watched Little Witch Academia? Academia? Is it Academia or Academia? I don't know, because I watched the... I watched the... Document, the documentary with the director. Oh, he says okay. Academia, but he's also Japanese. Yeah. So I don't know if he just... It's pronounced the way he... Sounds like he's trying to say macadamia. Yeah, but because he says academia. Huh. Yeah. But have you guys watched this? No, I only hear good things. Holy shit, you guys. I think this might be like the best one episode of anime I've ever seen. Is it only one episode? It's only one episode. It's only 26 minutes. Wow. Including credits. That's crazy. So, watch it. Okay? It's on Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll Crunchyroll.com? It's free on Crunchyroll. Wow. Um, so let me set this up. Uh, what's my favorite anime? Gurren Lagann. Right. That production team broke off, made their own studio named Trigger. Uh-huh. They made another anime I love. Kill a Kill. Right. Uh, but 
Trigger's first production is actually the Silver Witch Academia. Yeah, and this is actually the pet project of the of the co-founder. Co-founder. Okay. Something that he wanted to do, but no one would fund, but he was interested in it. It's basically anime Harry Potter, but oh. it's done with the animation style of Kill a Kill and Grand Lagoon. Huh. So it's like super flamboyant. It's little girls. Like, they're probably like nine or ten. How many drills are in this show? <laughs> Zero. There's a bow oh, and arrow. Oh, okay. There's a magical bow and arrow and right. dragons. Cool. Um, and I know, I know, like Gurren Lagann and and, and Kill a Kill can sort of be like um, racy. They're an attack on the senses too. Yeah, but I mean, like, that can be offensive to some people who are like, "Why? There's so much, so much uh, mature content." You should have told that to the people I was uh, watching Kill a Kill beside in the library <laughs> oh, no. at school. Oh, yeah, <laughs> like you will get like weird looks if you're seen watching that. This has none of that. Okay. Like it, it looks like a, a children's cartoon at some point. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I don't, I, I don't think I could say anything more. Like if you like, if you like magic and Harry Potter, like that kind of stuff. Like, like she, she goes like, to a magic school and okay. she does that, like and giant magic beams and stuff. And yeah, and you like uh, going into dungeons. All right, cool. You want to collect loot? I'm down with loot. Uh, and I'm they're big, witches, so they have the witch hats. All right. And broomsticks. What? Of course. You're yeah. telling me these witches have <clears> broomsticks. <throat> Yeah, and I believe she's also raised by muggles. Goddamn muggles. I mean, humans. Goddamn muggles. Yeah. So it's it's pretty much female anime Harry Potter. Huh, okay. Uh, and I looked it up. There's a Kickstarter for it, which ended last year, so they can get a second episode. Hmm. <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh, they reached their goal. They even got stretch goals. So instead of being another 20-minute episode, they've got it up to, I think, like, 45 minutes. Whoa, no. Wait, this is, okay. So it's not a huge investment of your time. Uh, maybe go watch it after we finish this. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. There you go. That's my week. Cool. I just watched the episode. It's really good. <laughs> yeah. No, actually, I'm watching it right now. Oh, wow. It's sick. Yeah. It's better with sound, Blavin. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need sound when you have subtitles on crunchyroll.com. Just wait. Are you, all right, whatever. Uh, Anthony, what's your week like? Uh, my week's been a lot of Japanese games, just because it's what... I bought in Japan. So you tried all the games you can't understand. Yeah, the read. exactly. So uh, I so the first one I tried was Gal Gun. Uh, I think I talked about this a couple of years ago. Yes, but uh, this is like it's a cave shooter. No, no, that's Ketsui. That's different. Oh, okay. So this one, uh, Gal Gun, is uh, I forget who it's by. It's some like small studio. But uh, how the story goes is you're just your everyday, totally average high school boy walking to school, and. Cupid has to shoot you with an arrow because it's it's your time. It's your time to fall in love. But her trigger gets stuck and she shoots all her arrows into you. So what happens is that every single girl at your school falls in love with you. And you only like one girl out of like a rotation of four that you can pick at the beginning of the game. And so to get to them, you have to fight your way through waves of normies by shooting their lo- your love at them and making them pass out in ecstasy. Wow. What game is yeah. this again? Gal Gun. And uh, <laughs> you get damaged if they successfully <clears throat> confess their love to you. Oh. Yeah. And then when you die, the game over screen is like the girl who, who hit you the hardest with her love, with her confession of love. And uh, instead of yes, no, continue, it's you're good enough or... Nah, you're not good enough. I need to go for my girl, my main story girl. <laughs> you, you go ahead. But, like, all the girls are, like, the main archetypes. Like, one's, like, the plain Jane Shrine Maiden. One's the Sundere sports girl. One's the Ojo-sama rich girl. Oh. Uh, oh. Yeah. And it's how it plays. It, it plays, like, a, a light gun shooter. So, like, it's, like, time crisis, pretty much. Uh, there's no there's no cover, and there's no reloading, but you can shoot down. So when they when they confess their love to you, either it's really close up and they present you with a letter, and then that damages you, or they confess their love from far away by shouting it at you, and their words appear on screen. You can shoot their words so that, or you can kill them first before the love touches you. I can't tell if this game is just extremely high concept or just <laughs> fucking stupid. Yo, it's hella dumb, man. Okay. It's super dumb. Like at the beginning, okay. you answer questions uh, <clears throat> based on like your study habits, your like physical activity, uh, like how well you are socially, and you get stats. And then those stats determine how well you'll do with the girl of your choosing. So, like, if you're really like if you're really good at have a really good sports stat, you would want to go for the sports girl because then it's an easier right. time when you get to the boss battles. And the boss battles are like, oh, I gotta help this girl get, I gotta help the main girl get a library book off the shelf. So I have to simultaneously hold the ladder 
that she's on so she doesn't tip over and then also stop books from falling on her head hmm. <laughs> like it's it's super dumb but it's like it's, it's surprisingly fun uh <laughs> Anthony, I'm watching it right now, and if somebody walked by while you were playing this, you're just molesting little girls. Yeah, that's pretty much what the game's about. Oh, how old are you? You're a teenage. You're a teenage boy. You're in high school, and all the girls a are high school. Teenage boy is like thirteen to oh, like eighteen, like actual high school in Japan, which is I don't that's know. That's still is actual still of age. So what I'm gonna it? say I'm gonna say the middle of high school. Like I don't know. Okay. I don't, I can't read what's going on. I just pick choices, and then hopefully I hear, like, the good sound effect and not the bad sound effect. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wow. To switch from that, uh... I w- you couldn't even read a little bit? <laughs> no, I, like, I, I'm trying, but, like, it's a lot of kanji, and I can't read kanji. Like, I know okay. a little bit of, like, uh, hiragana, but, like, I can't... That's not enough. Oh, small tangent. I... I... I learned... I taught myself how to read some. Yeah. You know what I learned how to read? What? Stereo. <laughs> Awesome! That's and, better than nothing. And play. Nice. That's and, what we uh, Dolby Digital 5.1. <laughs> you learn, how did you learn this? Where did you... It was on his freaking Blu-ray. Oh, <laughs> yeah! I was, gonna ask, I was gonna ask, can you figure out why I had to uh, learn? Okay. <laughs> like this, oh, my God. Oh, that's hilarious. That's funny. You have Ego, you have yeah. subs. <laughs> there's English subs on it? Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, Ego's English. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know what it means, but yeah. I didn't know if there's English subs on it. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, but yeah, so to switch from that, I've been playing uh, also Gundam Extreme versus Full Boost. I want to try. Okay, either you're gonna bring this over, I'm gonna go with us. I want to try this. Okay, yeah, this is I. I the thing is, I, I let my friend borrow it. Oh, okay. Because I'm playing through Yakuza Kenzan, which I'll yeah. talk about later. Well, no. But much. as soon as I get it back, we'll we'll totally play it. Yeah. So this game is Virtua On. If you've ever played Virtua On by Sega, it's that, and it's a fighting game. So you can play in <clears throat> teams or you can play just mano a mano. And how it works is, uh, there's just all the Gundams from like any Gundam you can imagine is like pretty much in there. Like all the ones you would want to play, mm-hmm. right? Uh, like God Gundams in there. Uh, like all this, like there's a bunch of stuff from Double Zeta. Like the RX seventy eight is obviously in there. Uh, there's like a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, and how it works is behind the back, third person fighter. Yes. And you're always locked onto a, a person. Uh, each Gundam has a cost, so depending on how powerful your Gundam is. So if you pick, like, Unicorn, right? He has one of the highest costs in the game because he's pretty much a super robot. Uh, But you have a life bar, uh, like a total cost bar. So at the beginning of the game, you set up your total cost. And when you respawn, you take whatever your robot cost is out of that bar. So you can either pick a super powerful robot and have a limited amount of respawns, like two, or you can pick like a really weak robot and have all the respawns in the world. Yes, right. Nice. <laughs> uh, and so there's like different elements to play like that. Uh, if you play with a partner, uh, both of you share the same. It's like a team cost bar. Yeah. So if you both pick like unicorn and uh, banshee, like if you both die once, you're dead. Like th- you lose yeah. pretty much because they're really powerful robots. Uh, there are. Your main melee attacks, and then there's also the beam attack, obviously, with, like, the beam guns and stuff. Uh, And there are also uh, assist attacks, where if your character is known for teaming up with another character from the series, like... You can bring them in? Yeah, you'll bring them in, and they'll do, like, an attack for you, or they'll hold them. Like, uh, I I forget, I forget this was in G Gundam, but, like, you shoot a unicorn at people? Or, like, a horse? Like, a robot horse? Food Psyche. Yeah. Master Gundam. Yeah. You, so he shoots out a robot horse at you. Uh, like our Master Asia's shot attack is that he shoots his hands and stuff. Like yeah, yeah. everything's very like accurate to whatever show that you're into. Um, and there's like a, there's like I only know a little bit. Can of Gundam can stuff. can I play as Exia Repair? Uh, I don't know, but Exia's in it. You no. you should be like I think maybe maybe like I've never watched Double O, so I don't know. I'll tell you, he's missing an arm, and he's half blown to bits, and he wears a cloak. <laughs> And his sword is oh, cut in half. I saw a couple with I saw a couple robots with a cloak, so maybe. It'd probably uh, be crossbone Gundam. You, <laughs> from, yeah, you can yeah, play yeah. Crossbone Gundam, yeah. yeah. Uh you can play uh you can play Hero Yui from uh w- w- Wing? Yeah. Yeah, and you can play Hero Yui from Wing Endless Waltz. <laughs> so there's two different hero U- or two separate hero Yui's. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> and they can be on the same team and stuff. Uh but yeah, it's really fun because like it's it's a very simple game. It's not hard to get into. Like, 
each character has a different way of playing. Like, if you're playing as Death Scythe, yeah. you're not doing a lot of ranged attacks. You're trying to get in there with a lot of his assist attacks, which, like, uh, electrify you, so or electrify your enemy so you can get in closer and, like, do your crazy grapple attacks with your Scythe. Yes. Uh, but if yes. you're playing Wing Gundam, like, you just got the two beam sabers and you're just going back and shooting beams at people, right? So it just depends on who you play. Uh, but that's that's really fun and it's a it's a surprisingly good party game if the people you're hanging out with know Gundam like it's super simple to get into. Cool. Uh, the next one is Puyo Puyo Tetris, which was my main purchase that I wanted when I got there. Yeah, I've, I've been seeing on the Facebook that you and Christian have been going nuts on this. Yeah, so Christian's like too crazy. So uh, for people who don't like Puyo Puyo is mainly a Japanese thing, so I'll just explain Puyo Puyo. Uh, for people who don't know how that puzzle game works is. Uh, these jellies drop in pairs of twos from the top of the screen, almost in the same vein as Tetris. Like, it's the same type of playing board. Uh, and each and the jellies have a color. So when you drop them, you want to set up all the jellies in a way so where when you get a, a match of four jellies beside each other, or connected to each other, I shouldn't say beside each other, connected to each other, uh, they disappear, and then all the jellies on top drop. So you want to set up chain combos to where... Uh, like by the end of your combo, like you drop one thing and everything collapses on each other, making everything disappear. And you make a big chain. You send a bunch of garbage to your opponent. Yeah. Right. And so how Puyo Puyo Tetris works is that they could take those two games because it's the same playing field and they combine them together and they have different game modes. So you can have like one person straight play Tetris and the other person straight play Puyo Puyo. You can have Tetris on Tetris, Puyo Puyo on Puyo Puyo. You can, there's a mode where it switches it on you randomly. So like, uh, like, you'll be in the middle of dropping a Tetris block, but as soon as you drop that Tetris box, it'll switch to Puyo Puyo. Cool. Um, and they, like, they take into consideration the fact that the jellies are jelly. So, like, if you hard drop a, a Tetris block on top of Puyo Puyo jellies, they'll just explode. And you don't get points from those, but you move it out of the way to make it easier for you to make <coughs> Tetris combos and stuff like that. And it's, it's a really, really fun and interesting game. It's just, like, for me, the story mode is very text-heavy. Uh... So, like, I have no clue what's going on in the story. There's, like, a there's like a kung fu fish. There's a story mode? Yeah, there's a story mode. There's, like, a kung fu fish, and there's, like, a, a dog that's a scientist. And he, Sounds Japanese. And stuff. Yeah. It's, but it's, like, it's a it's a really fun party game. Like, if you're just people to get in, like, you bring them over. They don't need to know Japanese. You just hit versus mode, and you hit go. Yeah. Pick a character. Uh, there's, like, character combos, but I don't really understand how to use them yet. Um. Uh, but yeah, that was my short time. And then the last one, the most time I put my time into is Yakuza Kenzon, which is the uh, Feudal Japan right. Yakuza right. spin-off series, where you play as Miyamoto Musashi, the legendary samurai, ronin, whatever you want to call him, from Japanese lore. Um, and I'm playing with a translation guide, so some guy on Game Facts <laughs> translated, the, or like pretty much gave you the story beats to what you need to know, and like tells you where to go. Uh and so you, as Miyamoto Musashi, uh, you join the army and you get uh, framed for murder in, in the army. So you try and leave your past behind as a legendary swordsman and you take up hold in this town as their like protector, as their bodyguard. Uh, when a girl from another town comes uh, and she wants you to kill Miyamoto Musashi because apparently he killed her family. Uh, but you're him. You're not going to hunt yourself, right? So he has to figure out who's taking his name and spinning it in a way where he can just convert like bad stuff with it. Uh, and it goes on that kind of adventure. And like, but like, it's pretty like dark. Like the little girl who comes to you is from Yakuza One, and she's like eight, and she sells herself to a whorehouse to pay you to to take on this mission. Yeah, so she sells herself into sex slavery to pay you to do this. <clears throat> okay, like, so wait, I just gotta ask, what's your process in playing this game like? What you, do you mean? You can't read it, right? I can't read it, but uh, I really, like, so the translation guide is really good on making key story points apparent and, like, having, like, when you go through the story. So are you, like... So, like, I'll, I have my laptop beside me. Yeah. And it's, like, I'll read a paragraph. Yeah. And I know what to do from that paragraph. Oh. I'll reach the end of that paragraph, either pause or do something, go back to the translation guide, read another paragraph. Okay. Yeah. Um, and when it comes to big cutscenes, I'll uh, I'll watch the cutscenes just for purely the actions that are happening, but then I'll read the story okay. of what's happening in the cool. actual translation guide. Uh, but it plays like the older style. Cause, so Kenzon's kind of old. It came out around like 
Yakuza 3, Yakuza 4 in between that. So it's a little bit of the older style gameplay if mm-hmm. you've played the Yakuza 4. But it's uh, still pretty cool. You don't use any... Like, you're, you have fist weapons, but there's really no reason to use it. Because you're a samurai, you have your, your single sword. Because you're Miyamoto Musashi, you have your dual sword style. And then later in the story, you get a great sword that's just, like, pretty much the Zabuza sword of the game. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you're, like, super slow with that. Cool. But, yeah, that's... That's it's what I want. What I wanted was just more Yakuza. Like I wasn't expecting anything groundbreaking from this, and that's what I got. Cool. So I'm really happy with it. Sounds like fun. Yeah. Uh. Oh, I did a locked room challenge in Toronto. Oh, okay. Those cool. Those puzzle Sweet. rooms. Cool. Those were cool. So we went to this place called <clears throat> The Great Escape. Uh, it's in North York, I mm-hmm. believe. Mm-hmm. Uh, and with some friends of mine, and we ended up doing the room with a 12 percent success rate. And so we went into this room, and uh, each room in this area was like had a different theme to it. So ours was called Museum. And so in this little room, there were like six puzzles, and we only managed to solve three of them in the 45 minutes we were given. Uh, but a lot of the stuff is really abstract. And uh, yeah, in yeah, and these ones are really abstract. Like there was an abstract painting with like a bunch of tape on it. Yep. Uh, and they made shapes, but then there was colored tape on it. Mm-hmm. And on the lockbox that corresponded to that yeah. uh, painting. There were strips of the same color on that were on the tape on the painting. So what you what I thought it was, it was around this area is like the code. Like you gotta look at it and kind of figure out the numbers to unlock the lock. But what it was is you take the magnifying glass that you have and you line up the handle with the colored tape. Oh my god. And whatever appears in the magnifying circle is what it is. Cool. It's like I would have never figured that cool. out. Cool. And so there's, like, a lot of really cool puzzles like that and a lot of really abstract stuff. And it was really fun. It was, like, living... It was, like, living an Ace Attorney mission. Uh, I highly recommend it if you're into puzzles yeah. and or even puzzle-style games. There are really... Uh, just, like, get a bunch of group... Like, a group bleh, a group of friends together and, uh, like, find a room. It's, like... They're, they're not they're not expensive. Like, you can just go. Yep. Uh, yeah, I highly recommend it. Those things are really fun. We didn't end up doing it. But we uh, we didn't end up like solving the whole oh, thing. Okay, Sorry, okay. we didn't end up finishing it. We we ran out of time. Yeah. But we ended we solved a good like, uh, like fifty percent of them, like three four puzzles. Uh, the thing was they gave us the ability to ask for hints, yeah. but we were super stubborn and didn't ask for any hints the whole time. Oh, okay. So like we probably could have gotten farther if we asked for hints, but we're like, no, we can do this. And then the time <laughs> right now, and we're like, we can't do this. <laughs> Got your egos crushed. Yeah, pretty much. But yeah, it's it good. It's really fun. I really, I, I didn't think I'd enjoy it as much as I did. Like, I want to go try yeah, different fun. locked rooms fun. around the area. Yeah. You didn't think you were gonna enjoy it? No, I thought it'd be like, I, I didn't think it'd be that fun. Like, I thought the puzzles were gonna be like really trite or just like. Boring. No, then you got in and you're like, oh. yeah, I was like, oh, this is cool. There's like a everything's super elaborate. Yeah, and like, it's oh fun. yeah, it's really cool. I really like yeah. it. Neat though. Is it? But yeah, that's that's my week. It's been pretty busy with things, but. Yeah, it's it's been mostly just like playing a game here and there for like an hour, and then switching it and seeing what the other games are like and stuff like that. Yeah, cool. Uh, I guess that's everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anything else you want to add in, Blaven? Anything you want to? No. Want to tease for next week? I'm not gonna be here. Right, you're going to Montreal. What? So good luck to you at Sweet. Grand Prix Montreal. Yeah, I wish they picked better yeah. play mats. Oh. Bring me back some bagels, oh. and um... bring us back some uh, cheap alcohol. No, no. <laughs> bring me back some bagels. What about uh that beef? That whatever. S- oh, smoke. Yeah, yeah, but that's not gonna last. Yeah, true. Well, yeah. We hope you do well there. Thank you. Here, crush it. Put on on a, just wear a TNI boot shirt, and you'll be fine. Yeah. I wish we had actual shirts. Or That'd a be amazing. shirt. Actually, if you wore a Crunchyroll shirt, that would... Okay, you know yeah. what? This is what is over. <laughs> no, yeah. At TNI, if, yeah, TNI B God. sponsored by Crunchyroll. We're and then, yeah, yeah. We're done here. I'm down. Flavin shirt will say, TNI B brought to you, you by, by Crunchyroll.com. Crunchyroll. <laughs> you guys are just using it for my body. <laughs> <laughs> we yes. are. We are. My body. We are. Thanks for joining us on the show. Yeah, you can always write into us at tnib.letters at gmail.com. Mm. Or just continue on with the trend of YouTube comments. I seem to, we seem to enjoy those. Yo, Vince. Yeah? When are you going to review Gunpla? <laughs> I don't know. I really like this one Gunpla, and I really want you to do it, even though you have no interest in the series. I know. 
When are you going <laughs> to review the double Zeta Master Grade I like? Uh, well, I don't really know. I love how it's always framed like that. Are you going to review X Gundam? Please review X Gundam. Yeah. Like, like uh, it's just... Are you going to do this? No, just do it. Like, please. Like, just... Yeah. Yeah. Exciting. Popular. Exciting times. The, the life of a YouTube celebrity. Oh. Yes. Yes, oh. that life. Must, it must be so tough, you living in your mansion with oh, millions of dollars. Oh, I know, with all the YouTube monies. Uh, all that $30. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? So much. I can retire. Uh, but yeah, see you guys in seven weeks. I mean, seven days. Seven. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah. Peace out. Bye.